Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today we're talking about the DaVinci Resolve keyboard. So, let's get into it. So one of the quickest ways that you can get faster at any editing software is by using keyboard shortcuts. Now, the thing about keyboard shortcuts is you have to remember them first off, so that's one of the hardest things. But obviously, even once you remember them, it is still just the functionality of what your actual physical buttons are holding you back from. So, of course, the more times that you can keep your hand off things like the mouse or other accessories, the faster you're going to be when actually editing. Now, this is where editing keyboards come in. So, there are a lot of different companies out there that make video editing keyboards or music or all that kind of stuff, and they're specifically made with the keyboard shortcuts in mind. But not only that, some of them have some extra features to be able to just do some things better in and around the software you're using. Now, Blackmagic Design actually came out with their own DaVinci Resolve Editor's Keyboard, and this is a video editing keyboard specifically for DaVinci Resolve. So if you don't know already, I have been using DaVinci Resolve as my main editing program for a long time now. I love it. It's absolutely the best out there, in my opinion. I really wanted to speed up my workflow and sort of get into doing more editing, so I actually reached out to Blackmagic Design. So they were super kind enough to send this out for me to take a look at, and honestly, I am very impressed, but I also think this is for a very specific person. So first, let's get this out of the way. This is a $1,000 keyboard. So do not think that this is something that is made for young, up-and-coming filmmakers who are editing in Vintage Resolve if you're in the free version or anything like that. This is not that. This is made for professional video editors, for people who are doing editing full-time and editing full-time in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're in that boat, this is going to be a keyboard you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. You have to understand why the price is what it is and who it's marketed towards, because I think a lot of people think that this is just a, you know, editing keyboard. There's other companies out there that make really cheap ones, so it's like, well, why is this one way more? This one has a lot of different features that I really do like, so let's get into it. So first off, this thing is built like a literal tank. It's completely made of all metal, all of the keys are very chunky and have a mechanical type feel. It does resonate a little bit, so it kind of is a little bit noisy, but for most editors it doesn't really matter because you're typically editing by yourself or in a scenario where really sound isn't gonna be that much of an issue. So this giant metal build has a full-size keyboard, so this thing has a direct time code entry keypad, intelligent keyboard edit modes, a super fast in and out point system, and a search wheel. Now, I wanna talk about the search wheel because this is one of my favorite parts of the keyboard off the bat. Now the search wheel is so awesome for scrubbing through the timeline at different speeds and be able to really just move quickly between the timeline and the editor and pretty much everything just very, very fast. It pretty much keeps your hand from ever having to touch the mouse, especially when it comes to things like playback. I'm not as fond of using the arrow keys or the JKL if you wanna go really fine tuning. So to be able to whip through the actual timeline itself with that is very, very handy. So the actual search wheel itself feels super smooth and just spins so nicely and you can tell that this thing just feels very, very high quality. Now obviously the keyboard and the numeric pad are pretty simple. I mean, they're all just the standard keys that you can think of. One thing I will say is that this keyboard is not very easy to type on. So if you're an editor and a writer, I probably wouldn't go for this keyboard. So again, the keyboard is formatted with some of the best keyboard shortcuts. And again, this helps you speed up your workflow because you're spending less time finding tools or moving your mouse around and you're clicking on the keys that you need. Things like the trim tool or your mouse tool or the blade tool or all the different things that you need to just move faster throughout your editor. All of these keys are right there. They're very nicely labeled. And again, they're nice heavy duty keys. Now my favorite part is on the left hand side where you have some of the insert tools, the in and out tools and some of those edit points. Now the great thing about this is when you're in the actual cut page into Vitra Resolve, which I did do a video on before, you can truly move incredibly fast. You can set in and out points from your media pool and put them in your actual timeline incredibly quick, whether it's at the end of the timeline, appending it, or you're making a smart insert or something like that. This thing just moves so fast. And of course, with that smart wheel, you can move so fast with the editor that you can just pretty much make a rough cut or bring in a bunch of footage and cut it down super, super quick. Obviously, all these tools allow for also a lot of fine-tuned detailing. So when it comes to trim edits, or you wanna really hone in on maybe in and out points during a certain clip, or maybe you're doing slip or slide edits or things like that. Again, having this keyboard and having all of these things in a physical sort of form right in front of you just is a lot faster workflow. And again, if you're someone who's a editor in DaVinci Resolve, this makes 100% sense. Now, I understand this keyboard is pricey. It is $1,000. So again, like I said in the beginning, if you are not a professional editor using DaVinci Resolve, I can see where it's probably not worth it for you. But if you are an editor, I do believe that this is really worth it for you. And I do believe that this keyboard will not only speed up your workflow, but is going to make a huge difference. And also the ergonomics. So again, it's how you sit and how you move. If you're constantly moving your hand back and forth, that is a lot on the wrist. We're using that premium wheel just feels so much nicer and it's easier to move and it takes that much less effort. And again, effort is time and time is money. So I had Zach check it out for a little bit as well. And this is kind of what he thought. All right, so if you want to hear my honest opinion about the DaVinci Resolve editor keyboard, it's not really for me. The fact 
fact that I'm not really the full-time editor, I wouldn't buy this. Yes, it does have quite a few extra features, but if you're a professional and you think that this would speed up your workflow quite a bit, um, I could see how that would be very different because it does have you know, everything laid out there. So again, he brings up a lot of really great points. Again, it's not something that you're gonna to wanna to type on all the time. And again, if you were not a full-time DaVinci Resolve editor, I can see where this wouldn't make as much sense. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.